Hello everyone. Welcome to Electronics Workshop. Today I am here with another awesome video. In this video, we will test all the AT commands to make call. Send SMS. Establish an internet connection with this Marduino 04G LTE module. So, let us go through the video in detail. Video is sponsored by All PCB. It is the fastest PCB manufacturer with best quality. You can get different free PCB coupons by registering with my promo code, which is present in description box below. You can get different offer and discounts by ordering your project PCB from All PCB. So, don't be delayed to be registered and become a regular customer of All PCB. In this video, we will be dealing with SIM 7604G LTE modem. It is integrated board made with SIM 7600 LTE and Atmel MCU called Arduino Zero. This modem provides onboard solution for all GPS and GSM application. This SIM 7604G LTE modem allows you to add location tracking, voice, text, and data to your applications. 4G LTE module can be the solution for all the disadvantages faced while using 2G GS. At the center of the board, there is SIM 7600E4G module, which is also the main part of the board. This chip is responsible for performing all the GPS and GSM activities. Its pinout and hardware configuration is included in the datasheet, which is attached in the article in my website. This is 32-bit ATSAMD chip from Atmel. This chip is also popular as Arduino Zero and is the main controller in the board. It controls all the input-output data, as per the instruction given to it. This module is user-friendly, because you can directly use Arduino IDE to operate and program the SIM 7600 module, or make HTTP POST. This module can also be powered using 3.7-volt lithium-ion battery. The battery can be directly connected in the power port, taking care about the polarity of the battery. This sliding switch is used to on and off the power in the module. After connecting any power module don't forget to turn on this sliding switch to turn on this module. This is the reset button for the microcontroller. When this switch is pressed, all the data in the MCU is reset. There is one more reset button in the module, which is used to reset the SIM 7600 chip. So, by using these reset button we can manually reset the module. There are two Type-C connector in this module. The first one is used to load program in our controller, and second connector is used to access the internet connection in our PC. At the back of this module, you can see two memory card slot and one SIM slot. One of the memory card slot is used by LTE module and another is used by our microcontroller. These two memory slot are used when we need to store a large data in the module itself. There one SIM card slot in this module, where we need to insert your SIM, while inserting the SIM, the direction is mandatory. The SIM must be inserted only in the instructed direction. There are also input-output pins in this module. These pins can be easily accessed like general-purpose input-output as in Arduino. We can also find I2C interface in this module, where you can directly connect your I2C sensor, or any module with I2C interface. Now, connect your 2 GSM antenna and 1 GPS antenna to make this module ready for the operation. While connecting the antenna don't forget to power off your device. Now, 
This is the basic example code for running the AT commands. We have defined all the use pins in this section. We will send everything from the string, and using the AT commands we can see the output in Serial Monitor. This code can be found in the description box below. First of all, we need to install the Arduino Zero board. For that, go to the Tools and select Board Manager. In the Board Manager section, search Arduino Zero. You can see 32-bit ARM Cortex board here. If you have not installed, you can install the board from here. Now, insert your Type-C USB cable in your SIM 7600 module. Turning on this green LED will indicates that the module is turned on. Again, slide this button where glowing of this red LED indicates that everything's is powered well. Now, wait for some seconds, you will see the blue LED blinking which indicates that the SIM 7600 module has access to the cellular network. Now, go to Tools and select the respective board which is Arduino Zero from native USB port. Again, select the respective USB port that appears in your port section as Arduino Zero. Upload the code and open your serial monitor. You can add some of the AT command for test here. Type AT plus CGMM, the result is OK which indicates module is working fine. Now let's try all the AT command one by one.
Now, let us see how we can use Internet from SIM 600 GSM module in our PC. For that, use the second USB port and connect USB cable to your computer. Then, you can see the blue LED glowing. After then, go to your device manager and see in other devices parts. If you see this error message, it mean there is no driver installed for it. Download this driver from the description and install it in your computer. Now, click on the device and update the driver, and browse to the computer location where the device driver is installed. Follow the similar approach on all the cases until all the driver get installed. Click on the network to see the cellular network. To turn it on you can follow the guideline in my website. Video is sponsored by All PCB. It is the fastest PCB manufacturer with best quality. You can get different free PCB coupons by registering with my promo code, which is present in description box below. You can get different offer and discounts by ordering your project PCB from All PCB. So, don't be delayed to be registered and become a regular customer of All PCB.